Well, hey, gang, I'm uh, outside, obviously. That's why I'm wearing my sunglasses. It's not because I'm a Hollywood star. It's, uh, you know, looking at our administrative building, which, as you can see, is a modular building. It uh, was originally uh, part of a school district here in Southern California. Uh, in fact, Joan found it, and we were able to pick that up. This is now six years ago, approximately, for about uh, $7,000, which is for a thousand square foot administrative building that already had offices built out in it. It was brilliant. And it's been very, very functional for us, but because of the really heavy rains, as I mentioned to you before, uh, we've had just a lot of damage, the roof and the side. So most of the repair work is already done, thanks again to the generosity of so many of you. We've already brought in about 3,500, it looks like it's gonna end up being closer to 5,000 total uh, to be able to pay for the repairs. But I just wanted to say thanks so much for your generosity and for helping. And so you'll, we'll, you'll see some before pictures, but also you know the after pictures here are most of the work is done and we're gonna be well protected from the next set of rains that are coming through. Hey, just a couple other thoughts. Uh, you know, we're still waiting to make a decision on whether to go to Korea or not. It's just depending upon whether or not our partners in, per, in Korea can kind of get their act together. Yeah. Anyway, if, if we go, it'll be the early part of April. Uh, and Joan and I would be going together with others. And then uh, we're looking at in May going to South Africa. Now, again, because of the health issues, doctors are saying it's perfectly okay for me to travel. Uh, but I do have a, you know, some follow-up appointments that I'll be doing over the next few weeks. And one other just little follow-up, I got a nice email from Allison Champ. Uh, Ken has been in and out of hospital, but he's, he seems to be doing better. He's slowly recovering, he's, he's positive, and he's working on, with Allison's help, uh, an autobiography of uh, his life and ministry and all. And I, I tell you what, I'm really looking forward to reading that, mainly because I think I'll be, you know, kind of featured in it, and that's as it should be. But anyway, talk about the beginnings of vision and all of that. And so anyway, pray for Ken and Allison and and, uh, and just that God will continue to, to give grace. And of course, for their daughter, Sharon, who's the primary caregiver. Anyway, God is good. And I just wanted to bring you a little update again. Thanks again for your generosity. We still need some more help. If you can, just send it away through either our donor box page or you can, you know, send a check in directly or however you want to do it. Anyway, God bless. And we'll talk again next week.